Hey folks, welcome back. Um, So here's what's going on. I have a project going on that I can't talk about right now, um, but part of that project involves um, stuff that I don't know how to do, oddly enough. So we're going to do some testing, uh, and the testing that we're going to do right now involves this. Uh, maple veneer. Um, I don't know a lot about maple veneer, about how to work with it, about how to dye it. So it's all a gigantic learning experience. Um, I started with a piece of three-quarter birch plywood um, and I have picked up one of these. This is a sequence pack of, uh, of curly maple and it is sequenced so this is all cut from the same piece of wood and so the, the patterns are very very uh, they're continuous so this part is this part minus of course the wood that you're going to pull out um, from your blade so this is our this is what we're going to test with and this was it's two bucks a sheet so anyways, um, there's been prep work to get us to this point. I've glued it uh, to this board, clamped it. Um, I had a couple of corners lift up on it, so I had to re-glue those. And then it was sanded 120, 150, 180, 220, 320. Um, uh, I then raised the grain on it uh, and then went back with 320. So it's nice and somewhat smoothish. Um, I have my uh, my first batch of trans tint. What do they call this? Other than yellow, lemon yellow, and this is distilled water. Um, and we're gonna put we're gonna stain this, not stain it. We're gonna dye this uh, yellow. Uh, not sure how many coats it's gonna take to get that deep kind of yellow look that, um, that I'm going for. Um, and then uh, I have an orange color that we're going to put over it afterwards. We're attempting to do a fade, um, but let's just start with this. Um, wear your gloves, kids, if you're not uh, used to doing this, like me. I'm not used to doing it. Um, these are just clean t-shirts. Be careful with the, uh, with the dyes. It can be the bad stuff. And now we're just going to rub it on there. Now, here's the part where I kind of have to take, I have to try to figure some stuff out because a lot of the dying. Um, videos that I've watched on the YouTubes of course is guitar related and most of what they are doing is uh, caps. They're either doing a solid piece of wood or they're doing a piece of wood that has a, a cap on it. Uh, you know a half inch or a three eighths or even a quarter inch cap uh, of some sort of figured wood on top of it, and this isn't. This is veneer, um, so I don't want to go too hard and heavy with um, with this, since it is this is water-based dye, and uh, I just used regular tight bond on the bottom of it. I don't want to compromise the uh, glueability 
adhere a bit. I don't want to glue. I don't want to screw the sticky up. How's that? Um, so. It's not too bad. I've wiped off just a little bit of it. This is just the stuff that's sitting on the surface right now. Um, and we're going to let this dry for a day. Alright, welcome back to uh, Noisy House. <clears throat> let the first coat dry. Uh, lightly sanded it. 220, 320. Coated it again. Lightly sanded it. 220. 320. Now we're going to attempt to um, put the orange here and then pull it down in some sort of a fade. Alright, well, we'll see. <clears throat> then we'll sand this back a little bit and try to feather that in and then we'll do it again we'll do it again so we'll see it's all a test we don't really know what the hell's going to happen all right you can see i've done another couple of coats of orange up on here um got a boo-boo there went a little too far down here and you can see where it kind of stops about right there <clears throat> so on a previous coat I had done it down to here on this last coat I came down to about here made sure that I had a very straight line and then took a dry cloth and just kind of feathered it in a little bit I'm going to continue to do a couple of coats maybe another line here and maybe yet another line here so we can get kind of a little bit of a gradation um, and then we'll see where that goes. Now if we have to do some sanding um, to kind of experiment a little bit, that's fine. Um, but we're getting there. And right on cue, the uh, furnace fires up. Uh, Alright, sand it back down with 220 and then 320. Again, because we're just experimenting, trying to see what's going on. And then I'm just going to wipe this with some naphtha just to kind of see what, if we finished it now, what would we kind of be looking at? Kind of like that. We'll take the yellow, start putting the yellow back on, drawing the yellow this direction, seeing if we can get a better um, fade going on. I have, um, it's, I think it's evened out quite a bit, and all I did was I ran this along the bottom, and then just did this. It has evened up that gradation. I still have the orange to the yellow here where I'm going to work um, probably just below this line. So it'll go orange and then just have a little bit of yellow there on the bottom. Um, we'll see. Continuing with the testing. And you know what we're going to do now we're going to see what this looks like. This could be all kinds of fun. I'm curious as to whether we're going to get any of the color shifting around. I don't I don't know. The dye, the trans tint dyes are a water-based dye. True oil is of course oil. First coat I really tried to just lay it on there until it stopped soaking it up. And that is still soaking that all up. Now I have not noticed any color smearing whatsoever which makes me the happy camper. I didn't know if that was going to be the case or not. 
Now, the other reason we're going to do this test the way that I'm doing it now is I don't know whether or not um, I'm going to have to grain fill this. With the pattern that is in here, with the figure that's in here, you can certainly tell that it's just not, it's not like a smooth milled piece of, uh, of maple that has, you know, like no grain issues, poor issues whatsoever. Are you getting close? I think I'm getting close. So, um, in part, this is also a test to, um, to see how this is going to turn out and if if this is the finish that we're going to use on this project then um, then we'll have to figure out how we're going to do that the brain says that we're going to have to dye it and then we're going to have to fill it how that actually works in real life I am currently unsure but that's why we test now there's a question or there's an answer some of it's coming off spot. Ooh, that ain't, that's a nice look. Let's do this one. Does this one do it at all? I don't even know. Alright. Coat number one. Hey folks, thanks for watching the train wreck. We appreciate you being along for the ride. Make sure you like Rattle Can Guitar Restorations over on the Facebook, the Twitter, as well as the Instagram. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like us over on the YouTube. We're posting new videos every Wednesday, and you never know what you're going to see around here. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a good one.